let's take a little bit more of a detailed look at the ribbons. So as we mentioned, they're grouped into logical sections. But in addition to this, they're also subgrouped in the ribbon itself. So the geometry ribbon has all of the geometry tools grouped by creation methods, editing methods, and also cleanup methods. So anyone needing to create geometry can go to the creation region and knows that these are the tools for the job. In addition to that, there's a general focus on a left to right workflow. This means that users entering a ribbon who maybe never used a specific workflow before start at the left and work their way along the ribbon to generate and interact with a workflow. So in this case, we can start by drawing shapes, creating those surfaces, dragging those surfaces into solids, and then doing any additional splitting as required. And this is carried across all the ribbons. So on the morphing ribbon, if users never used morphing before, they know to start on the left to define the setup. We then interact with the morphing tools and then finally take that morphed shape, save them and potentially rebuild the mesh if required as well. There's also very specific ribbons for individual workflows related to industries. So for example, we have an airbag solutions ribbon where users can create, fold, and house airbags in a consistent workflow. And we can also create our own custom ribbons as well. So I can create a ribbon, add all of the common tools, um, create my own workflows based on the, the order of those tools, and share that across the business.